So let's start at the very beginning. You're going to chain a chain of an even number of stitches. And in the second chain from hook, you're going to start working a row of single crochets. So row one is just a row of single crochets. And when you reach the end of that row, chain one and turn. In row two, we're not changing it up much. We're working another row of single crochets. So just single crochet across. And when you reach the end of the row, you're going to chain one and turn. Now for this pattern, you're repeating rows three through six. So I'm moving on to a more established square just because it's easier to see, but the pattern remains the same. So our first stitch in row three is that single crochet into the first stitch. For the next stitch, we're gonna work a spike stitch. So into your hook two rows below, and you're gonna check that your stitch goes through the diamond below you. So since this honeycomb stitch creates like a diamond pattern, make sure your hook goes into the middle of one of those diamonds. And then otherwise, just work your single crochet as normal. This spike stitch is just a single crochet. You're just working two rows below. Okay, now your next stitch is a normal single crochet. And now we're gonna work that spike stitch again. So insert your hook two rows below. So this would be the row that you would work into normally. You're gonna wanna go into the second row right here. Insert your hook, make sure your hook goes into one of those diamonds, kind of into the middle of it. See the diamond there? You wanna double check this every time and then work your single crochet. Now the next stitch is a normal single crochet into that top row there. The next stitch is a spike stitch. So inserting it two rows below, making sure it goes into one of those diamonds and then working a single crochet. And you're just gonna alternate the spike stitches with the single crochets and end the row on a single crochet, chain one and turn. Moving on to row four. Our first two stitches are going to be just normal single crochets. So single crochet into that first stitch. And another single crochet into that next stitch. Now here's where it's going to get interesting. We're going to work a single crochet, two together, into the top two sides of these, this diamond pattern here. So that's from our spike stitches in the row below. You're going to insert your hook through those two loops. Yarn over, pull through loops, yarn over, pull through those last two loops. That's just a single crochet, two together. It's just the placement that matters for creating this pattern. And again, working your single crochet two together into the top two sides of this diamond. So you're just kind of bringing that diamond together. So it creates that nice pointed triangle on top. And then your next stitch is a normal single crochet. So for this row, you're just alternating the single crochet two togethers with normal single crochets. So inserting your hook into those two sides of the diamond and working your single crochet two together. And then work a normal single crochet into the next stitch. Working your single crochet two together into the top of that diamond. And then working a normal single crochet into the next stitch. That's your single crochet two together. And then a single crochet into the next stitch. I'm gonna fast forward to the end of this row. You'll work your last single crochet two together into that last diamond. And then your last two stitches are going to be single crochets. and then you're gonna to wanna to chain one and turn. For row five, we're gonna start with a spike stitch. So into your hook two rows below and work your spike stitch there. So just kind of working a normal single crochet. The only difference is that we're working at two rows below. And then our next stitch is just a normal single crochet into the top row. And that's what you're gonna alternate for this row. You're just gonna be alternating your spike stitches and your single crochets. 
So inserting our hook two rows below, not there, but there, and making sure that it goes through into the middle of the diamond. And then a normal single crochet to follow that. And another spike stitch, not there, but into the second row, making sure that it goes into the middle of the diamond. And you're just going to alternate the spike stitches with your single crochets, and you're going to end the row on a spike stitch. Chain one and turn. For row six, we're back to working our single crochet twos together. We're going to start this row with one normal single crochet, and then get straight into the single crochet two togethers. So again, working into the top of the diamond, bringing those two sides together by working a single crochet two together into those two loops. And then your next stitch is going to be a single crochet and we're just alternating that across. So our next stitch is another single crochet two together. And the following stitch is a single crochet. So just alternating that pattern, you're going to end this row on a single crochet, chain one and turn, and then you're going to go back into working row three. So this pattern repeats rows three through six. You can repeat rows three through six until your project reaches your desired length. Thank you so much for stitching along with me. If you liked this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I release new videos like this every week. You can also find me on TikTok where I release shorter form tutorials and my patterns are all on Etsy, Modern Made Shop.